it's really hard. I mean, sometimes you can talk in front of millions of people, and it's just simple. You do it every day, and it's cool, and it's really simple. But when you get up in front of your family and you have to perform a wedding ceremony, sometimes that might be a little difficult. So I think Sam did a very super job. Yeah! So we're going to stand next to each other boys. I see a lot of ceremonies that are really choppy. It, he had it flowing so smoothly, it was actually a pleasure to watch. So right now, we're going to bring Howie's mom. I'll know, right in between our bride and groom. I'm going to hand her the microphone and your attention. So once again, folks, our mother of the group. You know, you make us a little harder when you have to do the I gotta live up to what you, you know, how great a job Sam did. So, anyway, um, on behalf of Katie Howie, my good friend and Katie's aunt, Linda's Worldling, Sharon, Jeff, and I, we want to thank you all for coming and making the effort to be here. It means a lot to us, and really, who would have thought we would still be dealing with COVID more than two years later? My kids generally cringe when I take a mic <laughs> because they never know what I'm going to say, whether it's at a bar mitzvah or politically. And for those of you who know me politically, they know that is true as well. Yep. <laughs> Today is about Howie and Katie and how proud Howie's dad and I are of the man he has become. Today is about felling, bragging and beaming, for those of you who don't know Yiddish. When I think back, I recall very few times that Howie did anything to get into trouble. He only had one temper tantrum as a toddler, and as I told my friends, listen to it once, and we'll deal with it again. When we moved to Orange, there was an incident at school that rang volumes to me about his character and confidence in himself. He came home and he was upset after some of the kids teased him because he tucked his shirt into his sweatpants. <laughs> I looked at him, I said, so don't tuck in your shirt. And he's like, no, I'm not going to change because of that. Yeah. <laughs> he faced challenges the outsider in orange baseball early on, and then in high school. He took them head on, learned from them, and I know it's made him a better coach and a better person. Like many little boys, his early nickname was Little Man. He was always more mature than his peers, so that name really meant it. When he met Katie, a large piece of his life puzzle was filled. Heart-shaped, I would say. We couldn't be more thrilled to have Katie as our daughter. I said in a conversation with a rabbi about our kids marrying someone Jewish. It was more important to me that my sons marry someone who treats them well, makes them happy, and that we all like each other and get along. If they happen to be Jewish, it's a bonus. Katie gave us that bonus. They're building a beautiful family, as we saw tonight. And even though I had a difficult time grasping the idea of being a Safta, Hebrew for grandmother, it's a role I love and I'm so proud to hold. We love you, are so happy you could finally celebrate your wedding the way you always envisioned it. Chaim. And now I'd like to call on our two people that we introduced with a little bit of bigger superlatives during our introductions. Our maid of honor, Erica, and our best man, Mike. I'm going to ask them to both stand. And we're going to ask that you join with them as they propose their toasts. In keeping with the tradition of ladies before gentlemen, Erica has opted to go first. Just been two years and 11 months to the day in September of 2019 
where Katie tried so hard to ruin Howie's surprise proposal in the days and weeks leading up to it. I will always be grateful for how Katie and my friendship has evolved over the years and have become part of her family and now Howie's family as well. Even though it wasn't exactly friendship at first sight when we met in high school, once she let me and my other friends join her for prom weekend with the other family hobbies, we've been attached at the hip ever since. We've come a long way from when I would drive down to Yukon every week on freshman year, and sorry again for never transferring. <laughs> to standing up here today as you renew your vows with your perfect little family. Howie, you are the epitome of the nice Jewish boy that Katie's dad always wanted her to end up with and finally found under a unique set of circumstances. Even though I'm not a traditional romantic, Every time I'm with the two of you, I can't help but see the unconditional love you have for each other. You support each other in every way, from Katie going to nearly every one of Howie's baseball games and practices, no matter the distance or weather, and Howie being Katie's photographer, wardrobe assistant, handyman, Uber driver, dog walker, landscaper, bartender, and anything and everything else she asks him to do. <laughs> From the day they met, Howie embraced me just as much as Katie and understood and thrived as he realized that he was actually the one entering our relationship. <laughs> Which is why I will always claim to be his second wife. These two are the best couple to third wheel with, and I love all of our adventures together. From beer fest to spending my birthday with you every year, and game nights where I'll never be sure if it's better or worse for Katie to win. <laughs> but watching the two of you be there for each other through all the ups and downs life has thrown at you has been an incredible demonstration of how strong the two of you are separately, but even more so together. I have no doubt in my mind that you two will continue to succeed as you take on life together. You two are truly the definition of couple goals. And in the past year, you have proven to be incredible parents. Noah is the luckiest boy in the world to have the two of you to love and guide him, as am I and everyone else in this room. Cheers to many more years of happiness and happiness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. That's a lot to follow up. Um, so I've had about three years to write this speech, so it's pretty good. Um, hope everyone's having a good time. In case we haven't met yet, um, I'm Howie's younger brother Mike, and we first met a little over 24 years ago. Um, and Howie, given that you're a history teacher, I think you would agree that was a pretty great day in history. <laughs> um, today, though, we are here to celebrate Howie and the love of his life. Obviously, his dog Hank. <laughs> Oh, sorry, there's Katie, too. Um, and actually, no one's slider. So, uh, lots changed in the last couple of years. Um, I think back when I started writing this speech, I was reminded of a story about how he uh, played football, and I know that can be hard to believe for some of you. Uh, but during games, he wouldn't go after the opponents to hit them. So after practice, Mom asked him why. And he said, I'm waiting for them to come hit me. Uh, in case you didn't know, it's not really me. <laughs> but, you know, then again, you've been a Jets and a Jaguars fan your whole life, so, you know, no surprise to work out for them. Uh, so, you know, since football wasn't going to work out, I think baseball seemed like the better option. And, you know, based on what I've seen from his golf game, he should probably stick with baseball. Uh, but, I'm not sure what's worse, his golf game or his dance moves. <laughs> Very soon. I mean, Noah already has better dance moves, and he's just starting to <laughs> Can't forget about Katie. Um, for starters, <laughs> for starters, I can now say I have a sister that doesn't have four legs and a tail. Um, but I do have to give Katie credit for something. Um, she has this skill where she's really good at getting other people to take shots. So don't say any more me tonight. <laughs> Um, in all seriousness, though, from being teammates to coaching together, coaching me, and most importantly, just being my brother, I've always looked up to you and definitely would not be where I am without you today. Uh, Katie, to be honest, never really wanted a sister, <laughs> but I could not be more happy to have you in our family now. So let's all raise our glass to wrap this up.
<laughs> As Sam Rosen said in the 1994 Stanley Cup, and this one will last a lifetime. I love you both. Cheers. Good job, Mike. One more quick announcement before we uh, continue and we get back to our uh, main course. Um, Jillian, where's Jillian? Jillian's husband Steve's birthday is today. So I'm going to make a little noise. He can celebrate his birthday with us Enjoy the main course, and we'll be back shortly.